So if you've ever wondered what rush hour in Tokyo looks like, well it looks a little bit like this. Yes, hello, uh, another location, another taxi. I think the last time we did one a bit like this was uh, in Sao Paulo last year because uh, it's me, Gareth, and producer Michelle as well. Hello. And uh, we're here in uh, Tokyo, in Japan, to do a special Japanese edition uh, of Digital Planet. And this is Chio, by the way, who is our local um, fixer and person who makes things happen and translator and general genius. And um, we're actually going off to uh, interview a politician. And uh, we're finding out about how politicians, although surprisingly few of them, are using the social media in uh, the run-up to the forthcoming Japanese election. And uh, true to form in a Tokyo rush hour, uh, well, we're kind of, we were making good progress, but now we're sitting at uh, an intersection. So anyway, we'll speak to you later. So here we are in Mr. Osaka's office. This is uh, an opposition MP here in Japan, who's one of only two MPs in the whole country to be using Twitter. So uh, one of his colleagues has been live tweeting. There he is. He's been live tweeting our interview. So we're famous amongst the Japanese electorate. Fantastic. Time for lunch then, and we've come to this fantastic sushi place, a robotic sushi place. And I'm going to take that dish there off this conveyor belt. And um, everything's under computer control here, so you grab the dish, whatever you fancy eating, and then, as you can see, we've already had a fair few. Um, but when you finish with your dish, you just put it down into this chute here, and that goes into the system, and it knows, obviously, how many you've eaten, and it all adds up onto a computer bill. So that's the food side of things. If you fancy a drink, then that's where this screen comes in. So, there we go. So anyway, I'll, I'll take one of those, and uh, it's on its way. So what's happening behind the scenes is a robotic hand, and it's going to grab the drink and put it on the conveyor for me. So hopefully, within a few seconds, it's going to turn up. There we are, the screen's giving me an alarm, and literally just within a few seconds, here comes my drink, just like that. So yeah, so it's about as robotic, it's about as high tech as, as sushi gets. But most importantly, it's delicious as well, yum yum. And this is where the magic happens, basically, in the kitchen behind the scenes. Check this out, a real sushi kitchen in Tokyo. And uh, behind me is the machine where they make the little uh, sushi packets of rice. And uh, it can churn out 4,000 of these an hour. They literally put rice in one end, out comes sushi the other. And then all the operators have to do here is then just add the bits of fish or whatever it is onto the rice. So it means, effectively, one person can do the work of what would usually be five sushi chefs, which is probably how they bring the price down. So each one of these dishes is 100 yen, which is about equivalent to say 70 or 80p or less than one US dollar per dish. So it's a technology like this that allows people like me to come in here and enjoy the sushi so cheap.